slept just five hours and it's not enough. And I'd like to fall back to sleep for a couple hours before I go and see what's out there in terms of people in my area, which hopefully won't be the case, but I'm not holding my breath. Panic buy. I hope my grocery store has what I want to buy. But if it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, what I have to make do. I mean, t technically, if there was a freaking whatever, if, apocalyptic event, uh, I mean, I could, we could, I could live off of, um, we, we had to, I have protein powders, we could live off of protein powders and water if we had to. Um, and then of course there's always tuna, mayonnaise, bread, you can always have peanut butter, I mean, even if you have no electricity. I'm just saying, you know, you, you can eat cold beans. And we wouldn't starve, that's for damn sure. I don't know what this virus is, but... I will tell you that Joe, in no uncertain terms, he would never ever um, take that future vaccine, like if it was mandatory, like if you had to, you couldn't work unless you took the vaccine, you know, for the good of all or whatever, he wouldn't do it, he wouldn't do it, he would he already told me, he's like, he would go into the woods and there'd probably be other like-minded people and they'd form their own community, like the Amish or something, you know. But he definitely wouldn't take the vaccine. He'd refuse and be outcast. And that is my Joe. And that is his mindset, you know. Remember, he's read the Bible more than once. He always quotes it, but he's not, you know, he's way past the, the organized religion stuff. This is all predicted in the Bible, or, you know, people, because I say people are scared, yeah, people will be scared, and they'll walk around in a panic, and he even said something in the Bible is like, they'll be bleeding from their assholes and eyes, I don't know, whatever. He knows the Bible backwards and forwards. That is not even remotely the case with me. I was raised on it, but that's different. Just as a Jehovah's Witness, they have to read the Bible backwards and forwards, you know. In any case you're new to my channel, he's not even remotely a Jehovah's Witness anymore. He gave that up a long time ago. He was, he became completely disillusioned with them, with every freaking religion, okay? Um, I 
think he was raised Catholic. I was raised like Christian Baptist. I don't know. I was raised Christian. Speaking of which, my mom's friend from church, the church woman, the one who used to be my, you know, somewhat of a, not a real friend, but, you know, more than just an acquaintance. Whenever, it doesn't happen often, but it's happened more than once, she's offered me a ride when she's seen me. And, but it's not, she doesn't offer me a ride because she likes me. She offers me a ride so she can view herself as a good Christian. You know, I'm not stupid. No. And as for that contractor, you know, she offered to, it was her idea. I know it was so surprising and appreciated by me. Instead of trying to finagle the doors to fit properly, you know, she noticed that the, the shower door, sh I, I'm, I'm, the shower door shouldn't swing into your tub, right? It shouldn't. There should be something stopping it from swinging in. I don't know. I, I, I feel like I don't know anything anymore, but. In any case, she's like, that shouldn't be like that. She's like, I'm just going to, you know, install a whole brand new thing from scratch. And I'll follow the instructions. I said, you'll do it yourself, not your man. She's like, yeah. That was months ago. Months ago. My mom and I are always going to be an afterthought. Okay? contractor wants to do the right thing and consider herself a good person, but in the end, it's always that my mom and I are the afterthought, you know, since we're not the so-called, quote, paying customers, unquote, it's just wrong, it's wrong, obviously I know she might have a valid reason for not getting back to me at all. Not even a quick text. But I've reached a point where I just don't care. I can't stand to be ignored like this. It drives me insane. It just upsets me so much. Periodically when my mom was in a mood, you know. Sometimes she does, thankfully, doesn't break down. But even Selena noticed it sometimes when mom can get a little off, whatever, and my mom has been a little off since this contractor said she was going to come. My mom has periodically called her, but this, I don't want my mom to be home when the contractor is here, so, you know, but my mom will call her, and, 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 but the contractor just wants to deal with me, because I'm the one who handled all of this from the very beginning, okay? I am the only reason, and you can hate me, and you can whatever if you did, say blah, 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 blah. No, I know, and deep down, my mom's admitting it, she knows as well. I'm the only reason she got a $13,000 bathroom for free through her insurance, okay? I'm the only reason. And that drastically improve the value of her house. In the end, who knows if it'll matter at all, but, you know, I don't know. She's acting a little weird, weirder than usual, but, and she keeps saying she doesn't feel good, but she, she doesn't have the coronavirus, I know that, and she doesn't have any symptoms of, like, a cold or anything, you know. She's not coughing, she's not sneezing, she's not, I believe 100%, and there's so many people who, who back me up on this, our minds are 
very powerful. Our minds can make us sick, okay? I really wanted to fall back to sleep. Oh. I slept five to ten. And I, I'm trying to fall back to sleep. And it wasn't working. Anyhow, that's what's going on here. Sure, it seem like end times. I said, you know, I don't know what, how, how you describe it. What's the word? But I said, kind of tongue in cheek, I guess, to Joe. Like I thought I would be dead before the end of times came. I know. I didn't think it'd be happening this quickly. seems to be the case since every time we turn around we're hearing historical fires and and unprecedented you know this is unprecedented and historical floods and historical fires and Australia is burning and et cetera et cetera et cetera now I'm sure that's all indications of the end of times. And now we have this. If this can happen, if it was just a natural event and not, you know, by design, not made in a lab, not intentionally released all the so-called, quote, conspiracy theories, unquote, floating around. Um, then there's absolutely nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing in the universe preventing another one from rearing its ugly head the minute we get this one under control. Nothing. I'm sorry. This could become the new norm. I still think it's awfully coincidental that it happens now and didn't happen last year or the year before or the year before or the year, you know. There have been these things before, but not to this extent. And that's why so-called, quote, conspiracy theorists, unquote, you know, point to different things that Maybe it's being exaggerated, you know, for unknown diabolical purposes. I don't know. I sit here and, and what I have no idea. I have no idea. Just, I'm not doing that great, but I really, I'm not being dismissive of her. Unless she has another UTI, which I hope not. I opt not to tell you what happened the last time she had a UTI. Remember the symptoms of the UTI mimic. I found this out from a nurse a while back. Can 100%, can 100%, particularly in my mom's age group, you know, mimic mental illness, okay? So I could think my mom is breaking down. It turns out she just has a UTI. Um, I don't want her to have anything. I don't want her to be in any hospital, regular or mental period at this time. Okay. I wasn't trying to just be dismissive, but I was like, you know, Mom, 
you're not showing any symptoms of anything. You, you, you're being vague. You're just saying you don't feel good. You know, it can be in your mind. And I was upset about shit. I was doing nothing but, you know, watery shit in the toilet, okay? Don't tell me our minds can't fuck us up, because they can. They can fuck our bodies up big time. And with me, I get diarrhea. There have been times I was so upset about something and I immediately wound up in the bathroom. And I'm like, this can't be a coincidence. It just can't be. You know? I've, so, I've always had problems, though. IBS, diarrhea, back and forth, constipation. I've always had that kind of problems. As long as I can remember. It'll be interesting to see what's going on in the supermarket. Glad I didn't go last night late. I was going to go late. You know? time I did everything, you know, took care of my mom and Omar, and took a shower, washed my hair, my breath. I slept all day, I didn't even get going until like four, then I have to eat and relax, do this, that, whatever, and just time goes by, as we all know, um, before I knew it, it was really late, and thank God I didn't go out, there might have been nothing on the shelf, I would have been upset, so. My friend was like, you should go early in the morning. I'm not going early in the morning. Okay. I can sleep last night if I want to. Still should have gone to bed before 5. It's like 5 to 10, which is decent for me, but I would like to go back to sleep and I can't sleep. As you can hear, Omar's not having that same problem. People were already panic buying before Trump declared a national emergency, so now people are just, they don't know what to do with themselves, I think. 